Welcome to Stable Sort channel. Given some number of lists containing sorted integers, you're asked to find a minimum range that contains a number from each of the lists. That's the challenge that we're going to be solving today. As usual, we'll first develop a strategy and then walk through the source code of an actual implementation. To put some context around this problem, think of a few of your favorite bands that tour around the country. Every now and then, they perform in the same city, which of course would be Los Angeles. And the dates of their performances are known in advance. Now, you'd like to schedule your visit to Los Angeles with the goal of seeing at least one performance by each of the bands. But with all the mad traffic, you don't want to stay there for longer than you have to. So your task is to minimize the date range of being there while still seeing each of the bands. Restating this in more dry terms, you have k lists of sorted integers. Write a function that finds the smallest range that encompasses at least one number from each of the k lists. In this example, the smallest range would be 7 to 10, as it contains 7 from the first list, 8 from the second list, and 10 from the third list. At the first glance, the problem seems to be hard to grapple with. But here's a visualization that provides a helpful perspective. We placed the values from each list on number lines. With that, our job is to set up brackets that contain a number from each list and make these brackets as narrow as possible. A particularly graceful solution to this problem is to use a priority queue that stores just one value from each list. Then, when taking a value out from the queue, you put in the next value from the same list. So if you have k lists, there will be at most k numbers in the queue at any given time. We can keep track of the maximum number in the queue in a temporary variable and keep updating it as new values are put in. Since this is a priority queue, when we remove an element, it'll automatically be the smallest value in the queue. So we can readily check the boundary range between the min and max values as we repeatedly remove and add new values into the queue. Here is an actual implementation of such a function. The first section simply places a single value from each of the lists into the queue. Since we also need to know which list a given value belongs to, we make use of a simple container object that has two items, a value from the list and a reference to the list itself. The second section is the main algorithm, where values are repeatedly removed from the queue and replenished with the next value from the corresponding list. Along the way, we keep track of the smallest boundary range found so far and ultimately return it once we reach the end of one of the lists. A priority queue that makes use of a heap takes order log k for adding and removing elements. So, given k number of lists, the first portion of our algorithm will take order k log k to run, while the second portion, given n elements in the longest list, will take order n log k. By the way, how do you implement such a priority queue? Well, that will be subject for an upcoming episode of Stable Sort. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please click that thumbs up button. And of course, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching.